Hey, good evening, Evergreen. Bienvenidos, amigos de Evergreen. Listen, if you are connecting right now, we want to welcome you tonight. Tonight is going to be a night where we're going to present our hearts before God. It's going to be a night where we're going to sing out, where we're going to shout, where we're going to respond to what God is doing in our heart. Esta noche va a ser una noche donde vamos a re responder a lo que Dios está haciendo en nuestro corazón. Así que, if you can find a place where you can make this time sacred and make this time special, and maybe you need to get to another place in your house or in your Maybe you gotta go to your car, gotta go to your garage. Si tienes que ir a otro parte de tu casa para estar en privado, si es que puedes, entonces yo quiero que lo hagas en este momento porque esta noche es una noche para responder a la gracia de Dios. Tonight is a night where we're going to respond to God's good grace. I have some friends who are going to join me tonight. Tengo unos amigos que van a unirse conmigo en esta noche para Levantar nuestra voz juntos y adorar a Dios. There's a few friends that are going to join me, so it's going to be an awesome night. Si puedes compartir esta transmisión en este momento sería genial. If you can share this transmission, that'd be awesome because I believe many, many people are going to be blessed by what God is going to do in the hearts of everyone. Y si estás aquí en el auditorio, if you're here in the auditorium, we want to welcome you. Why don't you give yourself a round of applause because you made it out and you're here. Okay, so we've never done anything like this here at Evergreen. Nunca hemos hecho algo así en Evergreen where we're combining all these. But we did a thing a couple years ago and they hired a Latino guy and this is why we're now we're in this situation. So this, <laughs> this is what we're doing. Uh, es la primera vez que hacemos esto aquí en Evergreen, pero estoy súper emocionado. I am very encouraged because some of my friends who are going to be joining us tonight I really believe that they have been blessed by God to lead and to lead in a prophetic way, to lead in a way that is going to guide us into the presence of God. Yo creo que hay personas aquí, mis amigos, que, que van a compartir, que han sido bendecidos para llevarnos a la presencia de Dios de una manera sobrenatural. And listen, tonight, uh, we were, we went up to Lake Cushman this morning. Anybody been to Lake Cushman? I knew that I, uh, Lake Cushman. I don't know, that's probably how you would say it in Spanish. Um, we went up there and I call it a mountain, but I know it's like a, officially a ridge. I like calling it a mountain, but we went up to, hey, Uriel, how you doing, man? Uh, so we went up there and it was a beautiful day day. Fue un día super espectacular aquí en el Pacific Northwest. And when I got back home, um, I felt like God started to speak this to me. Cuando regresé a mi casa, sentí que Dios empezó a hablar esto. And this is what I'm declaring over this night. That tonight is going to be a night of freedom. And freedom is going to lead to vulnerability. And vulnerability is going to lead to confession. And confession is going to lead to healing. Y lo que Dios me habló acerca de esta noche es que va a ser una noche de libertad. Y la libertad nos va a llevar a ser vulnerables. Y vulnerabilidad nos va a llevar a la confesión. Y la confesión nos va a llevar a la sanidad. Now, I was like, well, in a practical sense, what does that look like? Y pensé, de manera práctica, ¿cómo es eso? Now, I don't consider myself a spoiler, but, spoiler alert. <laughs> but it, very much in the way, you know, in the WandaVision way, I feel like we're going to go through these different stages tonight. Siento que en esta noche, al estilo WandaVision, vamos a ir de diferentes etapas donde al final de todo vamos a llegar a una sanidad divina de parte de Dios. I believe we're going to arrive to a place of divine and supernatural healing. So I thought the best way to do this, and I don't know if my friends are back there, but let's go ahead and, and call these guys out because I want them to join me in this. And I told them, I said, we're going to go from zero to 100 rather quickly. Uh, les dije, vamos a ir de cero a cien rápidamente because tonight 
I want to take advantage of every single second. Esta noche quiero tomar ventaja de cada segundo. So if you're in the room, stand with us. Es, eh, si estás aquí en el auditorio, puedes ponerte de pie. Si estás en tu casa, así como tú quieres eh, presentarte delante de Dios, however you want to present yourself before God, go ahead and do that at home. But right now, Lord, we lift up our voice to you, and in this moment, we cry out to you. En este momento, Señor, clamamos a ti, levantamos nuestra voz a ti. In this moment, we cry out to you, and we say, Father, here I am. Decimos, Padre, aquí estoy. Aquí está mi corazón. Haz lo que tú quieres hacer en mí. Father, do what you want to do in my heart right now. I present myself before you. Me presento delante de ti. Oh.
Man, this is a night of encounters. This is una noche de encuentro. You know, backstage when we were praying, I asked everyone to have in their mind if they could go back to the moment that they had their first encounter with God. And I want to invite you to do the same thing. Cuando estuvimos allá atrás, le dije a los chicos, pon en tu mente la primera vez que te encontraste con Jesús. So if you want to participate, join us in doing that. Think about the first time you had an encounter with Jesus. Si quieres participar con eso, piensa en la primera vez que tuviste un encuentro con Jesús. And I, and I hearkened back to uh, 1990-ish in Killeen, Texas in, the, in a revival tent meeting that my dad was doing, one of those old school revival type tent meeting things. Y, y me acordé de unas campañas de avivamiento que mi papá hizo en los noventas. Y fue ahí a la edad de seis años and I was six years old and I remember exactly what happened. Me acordé exactamente de lo que pasó. Tuve un encuentro con Jesús. I had an encounter with Jesus and my life was changed forever. Y mi vida fue cambiada para siempre. So think about that time. And, and the reason I'm having you do this is because I believe that tonight is going to be that for many people. Yo creo que esta noche va a ser eso exactamente para muchos de ustedes que va a ser una noche de encuentro. It's going to be a night of encounter. Now listen, this is self-select. Esto es una decisión que tú tienes que tomar. If you want to participate in what God is doing in the supernatural, you can partake. And it's really up to you, de verdad. Se trata de ti. Si tú quieres tener un encuentro. So if your desire is, Lord, I want to meet with you tonight. Si tu deseo es, Señor, yo quiero estar contigo en esta noche. Quiero estar contigo en esta noche. Porque es una noche de encuentro. Si tú quieres eso, if you want that, preséntate delante de él. Present your heart before him. Y dile algo así, Señor, aquí está mi corazón. Tell him something like this, Lord, here is my heart. I want to meet with you tonight. I want to sense that nearness. Quiero sentir que tú estás cerca. Holy Spirit, we call on you. We want to meet with you. Yes. We want to meet with you. Oh, I want to meet with you, Jesus. I want to meet with you. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Holy Spirit, we call on you to break every chain. Break every chain. Holy Spirit, we call on you. Break every chain. Break every chain. Holy Spirit, we call on you. Espíritu Santo, te invocamos. Rompe cadenas. Rompe cadenas, rompe cadenas, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, Holy Spirit we call on you, Espíritu Santo te invocamos, te invocamos, Te invocamos. Yes, yes. Holy Spirit, we call on you to help us in our weakness. Help us in those areas where we find weakness and doubt and this like cynicism. 
Oh man, someone needs to pray that way. Help me with my cynicism. Someone needs to pray that way. Alguien tiene que orar de esa manera. Ayúdame porque yo soy muy cínico. Help me because I, I, I look around and I see what's happening. I say, <laughs> hit the beatbox. <laughs> But this is a night of encounter. Nick, I saw that you got here. Come, come here. You're gonna have to walk all the way over here. I didn't tell you this, and I know you're not prepared to do this, but, but I know that you have, you have a way of praying, brother. I want you to pray for us. Hook up with Ivan over there. <clears throat> praying I know I didn't give you any kind of back backdrop but this is what we're praying that the heavens would open up in the capital region in the Olympia region that the heavens would open up and that the glory of God would descend upon us because I know I know this is evergreen but there's a lot of different churches represented here so man I want you to pray English Spanish wherever and I I'm I'm so sorry he wore a Cowboys jersey by the way I didn't tell we didn't, we didn't go over this but listen this man is anointed and Man, I want you to pray and just set that atmosphere of freedom. And then we're going to sing. Holy Spirit, we honor you. <laughs> we thank you for your presence. We thank you because we know you're here. We declare an open heaven. Lord, we know that wherever a sun steps, heaven has to be open. We don't have to beg for it. We don't have to demand it. We just step and heaven is open. And Holy Spirit, right now, I, I see you sweeping through the room with healing right now Lord Holy Spirit people are here and they're hungry and we know that hunger draws you near to a place so right now Lord the demand the demand of your children kind of like you reminded me a couple of days ago when my son first started giving me his arms that's how we are tonight Lord we just stretch out our arms to you we want to draw near we want to hear your heart, Jesus. We just want to be near. We just draw near. And we just want to be close. Oh. oh yeah. We draw near. We draw near. We draw near. Come on, come on, take a couple seconds and just come close. Come close. Draw near. He is here. The Father is here. He doesn't want you to see him as a faraway God. He's the Father. He's the Father.
I think this is what tonight is going to be. Yo creo que en esta noche va a ser esto. En realidad no tenemos un plan, no hay una agenda. There really is no plan, there's no agenda. Man, we just want to worship Jesus. Queremos adorar a Jesús. ¿Cuántos tienen ganas de adorar a Jesús? I mean, you just cannot wait to worship Jesus. Let's hit that. Come on, Yoshi. Sing a little bit, man. Hey, sing a little louder, you know.
matter what surrounds me, I'm gonna sing melodies of thanksgiving because it's in the thanksgiving the doors are open, his doors are open. Sometimes we just gotta put a little action to our words. Sometimes we just gotta shake a little bit our normal, what we're used to. Muchas veces tenemos que poner acción a las palabras que decimos y como que sacudir, ¿no? La mentalidad de que, ah, Dios es bueno, Dios es fiel y yo estoy aquí en, mi, en mis cosas. No, no, Él quiere estar en medio de tus cosas. He wants to be right in the middle. He wants to be when you're there when you're sad. He wants to be there when you're happy. He wants to be there in your joys. He wants to be there when you're miserable. He wants to be there. He wants to be near. Él quiere estar cerca. Él quiere estar cerca. Oh, yes. And that's why we sing hallelujah. Oh, we want to sing. Oh, we sing to you. This feel there's just something that's stirring right now in, in his presence. We're just going to... We're gonna sing, Levanto un aleluya. Just gonna sing that. Levanto un aleluya. Levanto un aleluya. Levanto un aleluya. Come on. Levanto un aleluya. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. We feel you in the room. We just ask you for a fresh outpouring of your spirit tonight. Rest on us as the spirit was moving over the world. 
here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me calm down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart down. When you fill the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me. Oh, come do it again, do it again.
pensamiento en mi mente más que nada es un, una palabra it's a, it's a word, a single word testimony testimonio lo que Dios va a hacer en tu vida en esta noche será tu testimonio what God is going to do in your life tonight in a supernatural way is give you a testimony and you will testify that when the spirit of the living God came upon you, you received power, and now you are his witness to those around you. Tú testificarás de que cuando el Espíritu Santo vino sobre de ti, recibiste poder, y ahora eres su testigo. So we're going to sing this next song. And it says very simply, hallelujah, I've been set free. No longer lost. I once was blind, but now I see. And for many, this is prophetic because maybe you're not in that place of true forgive or true freedom. Para algunos, esto va a ser profético porque quizá en este momento no estás en ese lugar de completa libertad. Pero nuestra oración es que en esta noche vas a ser libre y vas a poder cantar aleluya Él me rescató perdido estaba más ahora me encontró
women have, that have had their hearts just captive by thoughts of depression, thoughts that are not true. And when Jesus comes and he sets you free, he sets your mind free, he sets your heart free, he sets you free, you're no longer a slave. You are a daughter, you are a son, but I felt, felt specifically, sentí específicamente por mujeres. Some of you guys have had your heart just bound. <laughs> and God says, let me set you free, I love you. I want to set you free from fear. I want to set you free from those lies that the enemy has spoken. He says, "Estás viendo hoy? Él te quiere hacer libre." In the sense, if you're here and you want to say, "Yes, God, I want my heart to be set free. Quiero que mi corazón sea libre de todo lo que ha estado viniendo contra tu vida, contra tu matrimonio, contra tus finanzas, contra lo que Dios está haciendo en tu vida." Right now, He can just come and woof. It's just a thought. It's just a moment where God just just comes and He just. You, you realize what you have in front of you. You realize that this perfect blood that was shed is for you and you're set free and you can see it. Whoa, I am, I belong to the King. So I don't know, if you wanna just raise your hand, it's just a symbol of just, yes, that's me, God. I need your freedom. Yes, yes, he sees your hand. And Father, I thank you for every person that has their hand raised. Si estás viendo las personas que están viendo por televisión, Señor, en este momento yo declaro libertad, just freedom for them to see who they are in you, Jesus. Freedom to see who they are in you, Jesus. Freedom to see who you say they are, to hear your words of affirmation and love that breaks off fear in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, in Jesus' name. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. You were made to worship. You were formed in your mother's womb to worship, to live a free life of worship to your King. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I've been set free. No longer lost, I once was blind, but now I see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I've been set free, no longer lost, I once was blind, but now I see, and what can wash away my sin, nothing but the blood of Jesus, and what
I want to give you an opportunity. Yo quiero darte una oportunidad si no estás viendo eh, en pantalla o si estás aquí en el auditorio. If you're watching us, I want to give you an opportunity to begin and to start following Jesus. Uh, and, and guys, I don't know if you can prep that number that they can text you and if you can give it to me here. But I want to give you an opportunity to follow Jesus today because this is re really, I think, you know, we said at the beginning that tonight is going to be about encounter, encountering Jesus. And it started with a moment of freedom. And we moved into a moment of vulnerability. Empezó con un, un momento de libertad y empezamos a movernos a un momento de vulnerabilidad. Y hemos llegado al momento de confesión. We have arrived to the moment of confession. So I want to give you an opportunity. Listen, following Jesus, we tend to make things complicated in general, like as humans. Tendemos de complicar las cosas, pero if you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then you can be saved. Si puedes creer en el Señor Jesucristo, puedes ser salvo. Es así de sencillo. And it begins with this understanding. You know, we talked about what can wash away our sins because the sins are many. There's a mountain of sins, and I sin, and you sin, and we all have failed the Father in some way. Todos hemos fallado al Padre. We have all failed the Almighty God. Todos hemos fracasado. Todos somos pecadores. We're all sinners. But today you have this amazing opportunity. Pero hoy tienes una oportunidad impresionante de confesar tus pecados. You have an opportunity to confess your sins. And there's power in confession. Hay poder en la confesión. Because when you can sit there or stand there, cuando tú puedes estar ahí sentado o parado y decir, he pecado. I have messed up. I have sinned, then freedom can arrive to your home. Entonces la libertad puede llegar a tu hogar if you can confess. So in this moment, it's really simple. All you really have to do is confess. Say, God, I am a sinner. Padre, soy un pecador. He fracasado. I have failed. And I'm realizing it in this moment. I sense you're speaking to me. Puedo sentir que tú estás hablándome en este momento. En este momento confieso mis pecados delante de ti. I confess my sins to you and I say, yup, I've sinned. And all you have to do is call on him. Y todo lo que tienes que hacer es llamarle a él y decir, sálvame Jesús. All you have to do is say, save me Jesus, save me, I'm a sinner, save me. And just as you take those steps of faith, he meets you right there. And he embraces you, man. And he awakens you. So listen, if today is that day for you, si hoy es tu día, si hoy has tomado una decisión. Now, I don't know how we're going to do this for people who are doing this internationally, but... Uh, Puedes enviar un texto diciendo mi día a ese número que está en pantalla. Está en la pantalla ya. Okay. Y you can text my day to this number. And this is what this is about. We want to pray over you. Queremos orar contigo. If this is the day that you're saying I'm going to follow Jesus, ooh, that made me think of. I'm thinking of the hill song. I have decided. To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Ooh, that's that's kind of power. Do you know that in Spanish? No, then never mind. I have decided. Seguir a Cristo He decidido Seguir a Cristo He decidido 
seguir a Cristo no hay vuelta atrás no hay vuelta atrás Man, that's powerful I love that denle un aplauso fuerte hacia mí please clap your hands because someone made a decision today to follow Jesus alguien tomó una decisión hoy en este día de seguir a Jesús listen um, hey uh, we're going to keep singing it, Stand, sit, bow, jump, dance, do whatever you want. Uh, but but we're going to keep singing. Uh, vamos a seguir. Esta es una nueva canción. What up, Noe? What? Sing this song with me. I think you know it. Esta es una nueva canción que se llama Abre las Tumbas. And this, this is what I believe. This is in Spanish, but are the lyrics going to be in English? No? Never mind. So in the spirit, understand this. And you know what? This, <laughs> This is so cool, but if you if you look around, what I really like are uh, are there are so many different colors here. Did you notice that? Like if you just look around, there's so many. Si puedes ver aquí en el auditorio, simplemente viendo atrás, si estás aquí enfrente, ve atrás, hay tantas diferentes colores representadas, diferentes culturas, razas representadas aquí. In that beautiful uh, newsflash, heaven's gonna kind of be like this. Okay, so, uh, so it's kind of a cool thing, and I'm convinced that in heaven they're going to be speaking Spanish. That's just my own personal thing, but you do with that what you will. But uh, listen, this song is called "Open the Graves," and this is what Jesus does when He saves you. He opens your grave and He pulls you out of there and He raises you to life. Aren't you glad that you've been raised to life? Aren't you glad that you've been raised to life? That's what he does. Let's, man, let's sing this. Give me some vibes, man. Yeah. Abrir las tumbas, el abre 
usted, hermana, aquí en la tercera, la tercera persona que el Dios está resucitando sueños que usted pensó que ya estaban muertos. Pero Él viene y dice, mi unción está sobre tu vida. La unción que rompe temor en su vida. No se han terminado los días de soñar. Aún más vienen, aún más vienen. Entonces, conéctate con esa visión del Señor para ti, para tu familia. Veo muchos que han recibido el, 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 el nombre de Cristo en sus casas por medio de usted, por medio de su familia. Y vienen mejores días, están por venir. Yo sé que ha visto muerte este último año. Usted ha visto cosas que el enemigo quiso venir a robar y quitar y destruir de su vida. Pero en este momento él está resucitando con su amor. Él está llenando su corazón de vida. Vida, vida en el nombre de Jesús. Vida en el nombre de Jesús. There's so many dreams that need to be resurrected in this house tonight. I feel that you let them die off. And this, it's time to come alive. Those dreams are just need to come back to life and Father I just pray for that resurrection power of your love Lord over these dreams Lord that we've allowed to just leave on the wayside God there's more we want to dream with you we want to do with you we want to be with you we want to invite you Holy Spirit to every part of our life not just Sundays not just Wednesdays not just when we hear a pretty Christian song on the radio but every moment come Holy Spirit resurrect us Resurrect us in your power and in your love. In Jesus' name.
A miracle, it's not just a one time interaction. It's actually an invitation for us to know his nature. So that the next time we're in need of a miracle, we know who to turn to. So he came from heaven to earth to introduce himself to us as a miracle working God. So I believe, I, I believe that there's an invitation tonight. Yo creo que hay una invitación en esta noche. To believe, to come face to face de, de estar cara a cara with a miracle worker, con el que hace milagros, with the healer, con el sanador, with the savior, con el salvador, with the provider, con el proveedor. Come on, so let's activate our faith. I want you to ask for the wildest things right now. Activa tu fe y come on, let's Dios lift our faith. Sea. Let's lift our voices. Jesus. Come voz. on, let's believe for more. Créele a Dios por más. Let's believe for dry bones to come alive. Créele a Dios que va a Let's believe for los healing. Huesos. Let's believe for breakthrough. Vamos a creerle a Dios por rompimiento. Let's ask for our nation. Vamos a pedirle a Dios por nuestra nación. In the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. I still believe. I still believe you're moving. I still believe you're speaking. God, I believe your word. All things for good. good. I fix my eyes. God, I believe your 
confession then we said confession boy we have arrived to healing we have arrived hemos llegado a sanidad now whatever you are believing God for lo que tú estás creyendo la Dios um, can we do that the what it, right there <clears throat> vamos a creer a Dios por sanidad well let's believe God for a now I want you to think about someone in your either your oikos if you don't know what oikos is it someone your people or whatever or think about maybe you need healing. Quizás tú necesitas sanidad. Yo creo que hay fe en este lugar. Y hay fe ahí donde tú estás también hay fe. Yo creo que en este momento tu fe está aumentándose. I believe your faith is growing. I believe your faith is getting to the point where you can believe God for a miracle. Entonces en este momento si tú necesitas un milagro, if you need a miracle of healing, just raise your hand. Si tú necesitas un milagro de sanidad, levanta tu mano nada más. Just raise your hand. Say, I need a healing miracle tonight. Yo necesito sanidad para mí o para alguien en mi oikos, for someone in my oikos or someone I might know. Just raise your hand so we can see the faith that God has given you. Lord, we are believing you for miracles. We are believing that our space, wherever we find ourselves, is converting into a house of miracles. Estamos creyendo, Señor, que en este momento nuestro espacio está convirtiéndose en un en una casa de milagros. Vamos, levanta tu voz. Let's sing that. We make miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Oh, we make miracle work.
And I come from the Bible Belt of the U.S. And there are a lot of uh, big Christian movements down south. Hay muchos movimientos en el sur de los Estados Unidos. Muchos movimientos de de adoración, de ministración, de movimientos del Espíritu Santo. Y cuando nosotros nos mudamos, mi mi familia y yo, when when my wife and my family and I moved up here to the Pacific Northwest. We knew that the 
Seattle Tacoma area ranks like, I think the last ranking is number 10 most post Christian regions in the country. Eh, la región de, de aquí de Seattle Tacoma es una de las regiones más, más alejados de Dios. Somos el número 10, si no me equivoco, o número 9. Eh, eh, Zonas de post cristianismo. I'm not talking about unreached. I'm talking about being there done that types. No estoy hablando de aquellos que no han sido alcanzados, sino que aquellos que que en algún momento eh, hicieron algo de de cristianismo, participaron en algo y han dejado la fe. I'm talking about people who somehow participated in Christianity and then decided I'm good. And when I look around, and those of you who are who are leaders in the area, y aquellos ustedes que son líderes en este en esta en esta área, saben de lo que estoy hablando. You know what I'm talking about? That there is spiritual bondage in our region. ¿Verdad que sí? Hay ataduras espirituales en esta región. And, and, and I don't, you know, why? I don't know. Maybe because so much of the world's information passes through Seattle and it's a stronghold of the enemy. Quizá porque hay mucha información a nivel mundial que, que pasa por Seattle, ya que mucha tecnología existe ahí, since there's so much tech in Seattle. Es una atadura. In el mundo espiritual, it may be because it's just a, a spiritual stronghold. Because I don't know, but what I do know is that God is stirring up something in those of us who live in this area. God is stirring up a movement. Dios está empezando un movimiento en el corazón de nosotros los que estamos aquí en esta área, and that excites me because I now sing with purpose. Ahora puedo cantar con propósito Porque en esta zona Because in this area Yo quiero ver un movimiento del Espíritu Santo I want to see a movement of the Holy Spirit In this area Many of you are from this area Or from the Seattle Tacoma area Muchos de ustedes son del área de Seattle Tacoma Y yo sé que ustedes también quieren ver Este movimiento del Espíritu Santo I want to see it too. And I am believing That when people said, would you like to come to Olympia? And I said, where in Tarnations is Olympia? <laughs> Cuando la gente me dijeron, quiero ven que vengas a Olympia. Dije, ¿Dónde, <laughs> ¿dónde está Olympia? And that's, that's you know, the education system failed there. Because it's a state capital. <laughs> Or maybe just a fail on my part. I'll own that one. I'll stop blaming someone else. I'll own that one. But I had no idea. But this is what I'm believing God for. Eso es lo que le estoy creyéndole a Dios. Que la nación de los Estados Unidos van a conocer dónde está Olimpia. The entire nation is going to find out and it's going to start hearing about this city, this area near Olympia, Washington. Porque Dios está moviendo algo en el aire. God is moving something in the air. And something is shifting. And if you don't sense it, then this is my prayer. Lord, awaken that person. Si tú no lo puedes sentir, mi oración es, Señor, despierta esa persona. Porque Dios está haciendo algo sobrenatural. And it's kind of impossible. Y es poco imposible. And I say this all the time. I like that. Me gusta imposibles. Because we know this. Sabemos esto. Que nuestro Dios es especialista en cosas imposibles. Our God specializes in impossible situations. It excites me to think that a movement, a Holy Ghost revival can happen in such a quote unquote dry area. Because that's an impossible thing. But I'm believing that we serve the God of the impossible. Yo estoy creyendo que servimos al Dios de lo imposible y para Él es fácil. Um, 
So we're doing something kind of crazy. Uh, let's see, Noe, come over here. Josh, come over here. Kaden, come over here. My two browns and a white. Es, estos chicos representan eh, un bebé que Dios me ha dado. These, these young dudes represent a, a bit of a baby. All three of you combined for one big baby. But God has placed something on my heart for, for this area. I don't know why, but it's there. But to see a worship movement. And these guys are some of the first. Estos son las primicias. Yo creo que Dios me Something about your oikos you might not know. And for those that are not familiar with oikos, oikos just means your people. The 8 to 15 people who God has supernaturally placed in the front row of your life. Those, that's your oikos. I didn't choose these guys. I didn't choose any of y'all. I inherited you guys. But I am so thankful. Estoy tan agradecido que aunque no escogí a estos chicos, Dios me los envió. God sent them to me. Ellos pertenecen a mi oikos. They belong to my oikos. And, and one of the things that we want to do in this region is start to speak into this next generation of worship peeps. This next generation of worship creatives. Lo que queremos hacer es hablar vida y ministrarle a esta nueva generación de adoradores, de creativos. Um, Mike, can you come up here? And Karen, you come up here too. Please, please. I'm sorry, that was rude, right? Come up here right now. Um, and I want you, where are y'all going? Oh, oh, your earring. <laughs> At least it wasn't your lashes. It was just your earring. Um, Mike and Karen, put, put your put your hands upon these gentlemen. Just kind of put your hands on them. Now, they, this is symbolic. We love you guys and we're blessing you, but it's really not about you right now, okay? But this is the this represents Mike and Karen are are going to be people who are going to help us press this forward and make this vision come to life uh, along with some other people who aren't here because I know Carmen's here somewhere and Ron Keese is connected online. Ron, I know you're connected online. Um, so you're with us on this. Pero estos chicos representan lo que nosotros queremos um, hacer en esta, en esta zona. What we want to do in this area, they represent that. And in many ways, they represent dry bones. Y, y representan como huesos secos. But God is stirring up and bringing to life the dry bones. Dios está levantando los huesos secos. Y lo que nosotros vamos a lanzar es un, eh, una escuela de mentoría. What we're going to launch is a mentorship program for young worship creatives. So... I don't want to give you all the details right now because it's a long thing. No quiero darte todos los detalles. The only thing I want you to help me with tonight, lo que yo necesito que me ayudes a hacer en esta noche, es extender tu mano, is to extend your hand and to believe with us for a worship movement in the Pacific Northwest. Creerle a Dios con nosotros para un movimiento en cuanto a la adoración en el Pacific Northwest. Nos pueden ayudar. Can you help us do that? So extend, reach out and extend your hands towards these guys who represent that next generation of worship creatives. Estos chicos que representan la próxima generación de adoradores creativos. And just begin to speak life over this generation. Empieza a hablar vida sobre esta generación. 
Empieza a decir Señor levanta a esta generación Que ellos puedan continuar llevando el evangelio That they can continue taking the gospel everywhere you want to take the gospel Que ellos pueden ser portavoz That they can be your mouthpiece Y ellos pueden uh, hablar lo que tú ya has hablado sobre cada nosotros uh, That they would speak the words that you have spoken over us Que ellos puedan profetizar usando sus talentos usando creatividad that they would prophesy using their talents using their creativity Lord we lift up this next generation to you and we believe this is the generation that is going to open the doors to a worship movement in the Pacific Northwest estamos creyendo que esta es la generación que van a abrir el camino van a abrir el camino para un movimiento de adoración aquí en el Pacific Northwest Señor te damos gracias porque tú estás enviando a esos chicos y chicas You are sending those young men and women Who are going to participate in what you're doing here in the Pacific Northwest Tú los vas a enviar You are going to send them, Father Y Señor, pedimos que en cada momento Que podamos tener presente tu voz Lord, we ask that in every moment That we would have clearly in our mind your voice, that it would be amplified. Thank you, Father. Gracias. En el nombre de Cristo, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y amen. Dile un aplauso fuerte al Señor. Thank you guys so much. I love these guys, by the way. They're my little, my little crew. Thank you guys. Um, thanks, Mike and Karen. Appreciate you guys. Vamos, ¿Qué les parece si terminamos con una, con una celebración? What do you guys think? But let's, let's, let's just end off with a with a celebration I am believing God for a miracle in the Pacific Northwest yo estoy creyéndole a Dios por un milagro en el eh, Pacific Northwest creyéndole a Dios conmigo believe God with me so man let's stand up and let's sing this last song I, we thought about doing this one in English and Spanish but I think we just landed on Spanish so it, but the, all the other the English lyrics are going to be up here and if you might know it in English and sing along with us or learn some Spanish and it'll be kind of a cool moment. You're going to be doing that in heaven anyways.
was waiting for you guys to take us somewhere else, man. <laughs> wow, qué noche tan increíble, amen. What an amazing night, and I am so. You know, I just want to add on to the word you were giving to these guys, this next generation. I feel that it's it's not going to start on a platform like it usually has for other generations. It's going to start in your small group. It's going to start in those moments where you're going to see God for who he really is. You're just not going to sing about it and be talented about it. It's going to be something real that comes from the innermost part of your being. You're going to be able to testify and sing and write music that comes from a true place, an honest place of knowing who Jesus really is. Not because someone's told you about it or you grew up in it, but because it really happened and is alive and living in you. So I just declare that over this area too, that it's just such a raw and real friendship with Jesus. And that's how this movement is gonna be birthed. That's it. Amen. Amen. We receive that, we receive that. Thank you. Ivo, thank you so much. Yvonne Munoz, muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros aquí in Evergreen. We love you so much, we love your ministry. Vas a estar con nosotros el domingo. She's going she's gonna to be with us this Sunday here at Evergreen. So if you're an Evergreener, man, with a special treat for us Evergreener types. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we want to we wanna thank Edward Rivera. Edward Rivera, my brother. Thank you so much for being here. Muchísimas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Yo sé que ustedes, y ya hemos estado hablando, I've been talking with them and saying, hey, uh, Man, we, we want you guys to participate somehow in the mentorship. So I'm putting it out there in front of everybody so you guys are kind of committed now to, <laughs> to somehow being a part of the mentorship. Even if it's the smallest role. Even if you just take a selfie with me and then we just kind of put that somewhere. <laughs> Kidding. Um, uh, but Edward, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Te apreciamos un montón. Tu ministerio. Y a todos estos chicos and all of these... Man, you guys are amazing. We love you guys. Los que están en los controles, those people that are our tech department. Man, what an amazing job. Our camera people, Brielle. Trabajo tan increíble. Man, I want to I wanna leave you with a blessing. Quiero dejarte con una bendición. And if you want to, as a sign that you, like an like a NFL receiver, like a one-handed receiver, just raise your hand. Así como un receptor, levanta tu mano y recibe esta bendición. Receive this blessing. Los bendecimos en el nombre de Cristo Jesús. Con paz en la mente, paz en las emociones y paz en los pensamientos. We bless you in the name of Jesus with peace in your heart, peace in your mind, peace in, in your understanding. That this night would be the beginning of many nights and many encounters with Jesus. Que esta noche puede marcar el inicio de muchos encuentros con Jesús. No solamente en el edificio, not just in the building, pero aún cuando estás en tu... Yo puedo ver que hay personas que van a estar manejando y van a tener que moverse a un lado y estacionar el auto porque el Espíritu Santo te va a estar tocando. I can see people driving on the freeway and you're going to have to exit and, and just park your car because the Holy Spirit is going to be in that car. And I pray that this would be the first or this would revive even those encounters with God when you're by yourself que esto pueda resucitar los encuentros cuando tú estás a solas con Dios I pray that there would be an excitement about praying and seeking the face of the Father que yo, yo mi bendición para ti es que pueda ver un una emoción para buscar al rostro de Dios y que pueda servir con pasión a tu oikos and I pray that you would serve with passion that you would serve your oikos we bless you in the name of Jesus los bendecimos en el nombre de Cristo Jesús amen and amen man thank you God thank you God hey Evergreen and all of our guests we love you God bless you have a great rest of your night bendiciones a Evergreen y a todos nuestros amigos los amamos en el nombre de Cristo hasta pronto we'll see